Stop following the crowd. Right now you're trying to fit in. You're doing what everyone else is doing. People are smoking vapes, so you're on vapors as well. People go to the parties, you're partying. All your life is basically an imitation of the people, society, and your environment. So that's what I'm gonna break down in today's video, how to stop following the crowd and follow your own accord. Now before I get started, man, hit that like button, hit the red subscribe button, and make sure to leave a comment down below as well on your experience. Now, trying to fit into something that we human beings naturally do. You know, we don't wanna stand out. You wanna fit into the environment, whether that's work or school or friends, family. You don't wanna be the odd one out. You wanna have some sort of like a middle ground or common ground with people. But when you go down that path, you end up imitating and forgetting who you are, forgetting what you like, forgetting your own path. That's the danger that you're gonna fall into if you're not careful. So that's why I'm bringing awareness through this video. You see, end of the day, we're human beings, so we need to be amongst each other, but at the end of the day, you have to do what's best for yourself and that. You cannot live for someone else. You cannot live to please anyone, your parents, your girlfriend, your friends, society. You have to follow your own road, and everybody else's road is different. That's what you have to realize, you know? So, following the trends, like vaping right now, everyone's starting to vape, like, where's this coming from? You had no interest in vaping, but because you've seen that celebrity or a few of your friends aren't to vape, now you start to vape. Everything that you do, especially bad habits, come from influence. Your friend is smoking weed, now you start to smoke weed as well. It all come, look at all the bad habits you got right now. Where does it stem from? 80% of them coming from what other people are doing. So you're impressionable. Human beings are impressionable beings. So, end of the day, you have to start to think like, yo, be comfortable with rejection because that's what happens when you become yourself when you tell people now nah, I, don't, I don't smoke no more now nah, I don't go to the club and that now nah, I'm, I'm all in my fitness journey people start to reject you out of the herd out of the pack you know what let me not call the my man he's not cool bro let me not call my man he's he's boring so that's what that's what comes with the journey bro and most people don't want to be isolated by themselves, solitude. You want to be amongst the people. You want to be accepted. You want people to be calling your phone every day. You want people to text. So you do what they do. But the moment you stop doing what they do and what you like to do, which is different from them, they're going to expel you out of the, the circle, the group, the herd, which you have to be prepared for, bro. Because are you going to live your life trying to please other people just so you can fit in? Or are you going to make the most out of your life and do what you desire to do and walk your own path, wherever that may be, chasing your own goals or purpose in life. That's the decision that you have to make, bro, because if not, then if you're, if you're happy just doing what everyone else is doing so you can be accepted and you do that, bro, but it's your choice. There's no way you can be happy with yourself if you don't do what you love to do or what you like to do. You see, you know what I'm saying? So end of the day, fitting in, bro, for who? For what? Why? Why do, why do you need to fit in? Why can you not stand out? Why can you not be yourself? Why can you not dress the way you want to dress? Why can you not talk the way you want to talk? You know, you don't want, you don't want your life to be an imitation. They all say that the original is worth more than the copy. If you're following other people, it's just a copy of him or her. Once you're doing your own thing, you're original, which is far more valuable. Now, you have to realize that walking your own path, bro, it's not an easy road as well. So I'm not saying that, oh yeah, just reject what everyone else is doing. Walk your own path like it's gonna be easy. No, it comes with rejection, comes with loneliness, comes with, with doubt, with self-hate, with a lot of things that come with walking your own path. That's not an easy road either. It might even, it's, in fact, it's even harder than being amongst the people. Being amongst people is easy. Walking your own path, solitude is far more difficult, but it's far more rewarding as well, bro, because when you're doing what your heart desires, what your soul desires, what your mind desires, bro, and you're walking that path, but it's far more enjoyable. You enjoy your life more, you feel better, you walk with purpose, you wake up, more energy, everything's more amplified because you're doing what you're supposed to do rather than doing what everyone else wants you to do. So that path is difficult, but trust me, like there's nothing that is worth more than your sanity, worth more than your peace of mind, worth more than you fulfilling your duty on this earth. Because at the end of the day, everyone has their path. So you need to follow your intuition, follow, follow your energy. You know what you like, you know what you do not like. 
you know what you want to do, but you're thinking, oh, will I be accepted? Will people laugh at me? Will I have the confidence to do it? Self-doubt is stopping you from following your intuition, but deep inside yourself and your heart, you know what's right, you know what's wrong. You know what you'd like, but it's about building yourself up. You have to build yourself up. You're not gonna teleport to being a confident person or walking your own path. It's gonna be slowly but surely cutting the people off, changing the environment, you know, stopping the bad habits and slowly moving into your passion, slowly moving into your intuition and listening to, you know, your heart rather than just what will be cool for today. You understand? So follow your intuition. It's always guiding you. It will all have guardian angels. Whether you believe in it, you don't believe in it, intuition, whatever you want to call it, bro. It deep within yourself, bro. There's something guiding you. So follow that and become self-aware of who you really are, of what you really like. Because a lot of things that you're doing right now, you think that's you. You think, yeah, I like this, I like this. But really, it's because of him or because of her that you like it. So once you become self-aware and you tap in and you realize that, yo, I'm, I'm into it. I actually like this more. You know, you know what? I don't even like this. And why am I even doing this? But that takes a level of self-awareness, which you can do through meditation, through journaling. There's different ways to reach self-awareness. But without self-awareness, bro, there's no point in moving because you're not going to go the right direction. Become aware of yourself first and foremost. Then you can elevate. And you do that by questioning everything. What am I doing right now? Why am I vaping? Why am I drinking alcohol? Why am I always like watching TV and wasting my time scrolling? Why am I just living in this country? Why am I with this person? Like question, question, question. Questions lead to answers, bro. And once you get the answers, then you can move forward. You see, once you know more, you can do more. So once you know more about yourself, you can move towards the direction that you need to. So question everything as you should. Don't just accept what you've been told. Just don't accept what everyone else is doing. Question it and come, come to your own conclusions and then move accordingly afterwards. So once you start this journey, man, the first thing you need to realize is, bro, be prepared to lose people. I know it sounds insane. You finding yourself, you finding your purpose, passion and goal. You think that, yeah, you know, the people are going to be happy with, for me, my parents, you know, they're going to be joyful and my friends are gonna help me bro you're gonna lose everyone lose everything 95% of people 99% of people will abandon you you'll be looking to have one person left bro who's really effing with the new you or effing with the new vibe the new energy so are you ready to sacrifice or do you, you're, so, you're so attached to these people to your environment that you don't want to let go you know what I'd rather sacrifice what I can be and what I truly love and just sim simply just hang around these people so I can have someone to talk to or it's like, you know what, F all of that bro, I ain't with none of that anymore bro this is me and people like it and cool but if you don't like it then it is what it is it's a tough decision you have to make, it's not easy but you know what the right choice is though at the same time how can you live your life for someone else, how can you live your life not doing what you like bro how can you live your life following the crowd bro, following the, the herd Break out, bro. Come out, whatever you want to call it, bro. And step into your own vibe, step into your own energy, bro. You understand? And then, once you do get on the journey, you're going to attract the people who, who are also on that same journey or who are supporters of you. But you have to do it, bro. How else, how else, like, can you live this life? Just simply existing, simply just fitting in. Not trying your best, just doing what everyone else is doing. What kind of life are you living? Ask yourself, what am I doing? Is this worth it? Is this life worth it? living like the way I'm living right now. If it is to continue, if not, then change. You have the power, bro. Everything's in, it's just a choice. It's simply a choice, bro. Nothing but a choice. Life's nothing but a choice. Everything you do is a choice. In shape, out shape, choice. Broke, rich, choice. You know, conscious, unconscious, choice. But if you don't believe you have that power, then you will always be helpless. So, the jealousy will also come with this. Your close friends, your family members, maybe even your parents will become jealous of you. Jealous of the new perspective. You used to be out of shape, now maybe you get in shape. People are like, oh my God, I can't believe you did it. Or he thinks he's better than us now. Or you went from broke to rich. Or you became from this person to that person. And there's a lot of hatred and energy that's gonna come with that. From the closest people to you. That's, gonna, that's the worst part about it, bro. You'll be the closest, your best friend, or it'll be your, your own parents, bro, or your own brother. He's gonna hate on you the most, bro. Just be prepared for that. That's part of the journey. Don't take it personal. This is business, you know what I'm saying to you? Don't take it personal. 
They don't know what they're doing. They don't know why they're hating. They don't know why they feel in doubt. What they do know is because you've managed to climb out of the hole that they have been stuck in for the rest of their life. So that's why they feel pain, you know? But that's a sign that you're doing well at the same time. So being an outcast comes with this, bro. And if you're not prepared to be an outcast, if you're not prepared to stand out, or to be isolated, then I'm sorry to say, bro, you will be stuck for the rest of your life simply trying to please people. And if that's why, if you want to be a people's pleaser, then continue to please people. But you will never please yourself. <laughs> and then when you buy and you you with yourself all the time at night time, or when you're walking by yourself, you're feeling disconnected. You feel you're feeling distorted. You're feeling lost. You're feeling annoyed. Though you don't even know where it's coming from, it's because you let yourself down. It's because you're not walking your path. You're not following your purpose. You're not, you're not doing what you're supposed to do. That's why you don't feel good within yourself. So hopefully this media video has woken you up and you feel the energy that I'm trying to give to you right now. You take it and you use it. Use the information. Don't just feel like, oh yeah, that's right, that's right. And then go back into your old life. Take this and that and make something of yourself, bro. Feel like, you know what? Yeah, he was right, bro. First step, boom, let's get to business right now, bro. Not like, oh yeah, New Year's resolution. Uh, two months time, it's gonna be New Year's and then I'm gonna go to the gym or then I'm gonna be myself. No, be yourself today. Make the first move today and you, you will never regret it, bro. You will never regret being yourself. So hopefully the video brought you value, man. If it did, smash the like button, hit the red subscribe button, comment down below what video you wanna see next or what you got from it, and that's it, man. Walk your path.